Hey everybody! Today is a hot day. Today we got into the triple digits and so I waited until it was much, much later <laughs> to come out here and spend some time with you guys out in my garden. So today I'm going to continue with the tours of the garden. I had to break up the tours because my garden is a lot bigger than it has been and so um, Today, I'm gonna walk you through my tomato row and all the varieties of different things that I have planted in there. So you guys, this garden has grown a lot since I last shown you this tomato row. And all my tomatoes are doing pretty well. And we'll start right here at the very beginning. And so, right here in the back corner, I forget which one this one is. Let me see, where's the tag? Okay, so this one is a San Marzano, Marzano tomato. It's a determinant tomato. Paste tomato, it's supposed to be really good for sauces. And then in this bed, I planted some kooka melons, but I haven't seen any grow, start to grow yet. So, and I planted um, some scotch bonnet pepper seeds in this corner over here. And so I don't think any of that's come up yet, but this tomato is an Abe Lincoln tomato. And it looks like my paprika pepper is still doing, is doing really good. I'm gonna have to get these weeds out of here. And then on this side, another determinant tomato. This one is, oh no, this one is an indeterminate tomato. This one is vintage, vintage wine. And this one I'm gonna allow to grow up the side of this trellis here. And then I also planted some sugar baby watermelon in here. And only one of the seeds came up, so I'm going to have to reseed this one too. And then here you can see there's tomatoes on this one. There's a lot of tomatoes here. Um, this one is the silver fir tree. I grew this one last year and it did very well. The production of tomatoes was really good. Oh, you guys, I showed you the little tomatoes up here, but dang, look down here. There's some bigger, a cluster of bigger tomatoes down below here. Wow. And all in between. So, yeah, that one, it put on a lot of tomatoes last year. And so it did really good. And then we have, this one is Canary Yellow Melon. And I planted three seeds in here, two sprouted. So one, I'm gonna let tra uh, crawl and climb up this trellis. And the other one, I'm just gonna let it sprawl on the ground right here in front of the bed. And then we have German Johnson tomato. And look at all those flowers on there. It doesn't have tomatoes yet, but it's getting there. And then Zulu pepper. And then yellow stuffer tomato. And then daddle pepper. That's the one right behind my solar light here. And then Dr. Weishi's. And you guys, I've already gone through and pruned these tomatoes and so there's some that you'll notice has two strings coming off of them because I'm gonna grow that to a two stem system and then there's some that I have just a single uh, string coming off of it and the single ones are just I'm just gonna do a single stem method with that so that's why there's some with two and there's some with one I think there's one I'm gonna do three stems but that's further down so anyways next I have a jalapeno and it's just growing very well in between these tomatoes and then and that one's a brown jalapeno 
And then I have Japanese black from Trifle, I think. I don't know how to pronounce it, you guys. <laughs> but you can see it there. <laughs> and then a black Hungarian pepper. And then an orange ox heart tomato. And then tigger melon, which is taken off, really. I'm gonna have to help them along because I want these to climb up this trellis here and then I'm gonna let the other one sprawl on the ground here my intention was I wanted to have all tomatoes and then peppers in between the peppers in between I wanted them to be hot peppers so this would be a whole row of just all hot peppers only but I made the mistake of adding that Zulu pepper I thought that was a hot pepper and it's not a hot pepper <laughs> so it's the only one that's not a hot pepper over here but I, I bet if I save the seeds for that one and try and grow it again next year it will probably have some heat to it so and then I have potatoes that volunteered I guess I didn't get all of them out and you see the little potato fruits which are poisonous you guys they're not edible but yeah they form on there and uh, flowers, they form flowers too, but they also form those little fruits. And so also we have, it's a golden honeymoon melon and a golden midget watermelon planted right here. And then next we have Cherokee purple. And then we have the pepper, we have sugar rush red which looks to be doing pretty good. Oh, that Cherokee purple has a tomato on it. And then we have big rainbow next. And then there's Serrano chili pepper. And then pink brandy wine. I'm looking forward to that one because I heard they were really good. And then a regular jalapeno and then pineapple tomato and then cayenne has flowers all over it too look at that there's quite a few flowers on that one and then black from tula and it has a tomato on it now too and then a benny kadima watermelon so and i think yeah, that one only has two in there. The chicken, uh, my white chicken, her name is Snow White, she got out and she started digging through this bed and she dug the third seedling that I had planted there up. So I'm down to two in that one. And then this one is Homestead Tomato, which is a determinant. All of the tomatoes that I'm showing you in the containers, with the exception of that one, that first one, they're all determinants. And I have all the indeterminates in the actual bed. Look at this one. This one's just growing crazy. And it has some tomatoes. Look at that. This one is the striped Roma. Now, the other day I came out here and I told you I was going to feed all these guys with that fish water. And I did. So, they should be doing really, really good. And then I have... Okay, so this one is a Haojin melon. Let me get closer so you can see what I'm saying. <laughs> Because I, I know I'm just butchering the name of that one. And then we have an Amish paste tomato. And then we have a Santa Fe pepper. And then there's Chernobyl tomato. And then Sugar Rush peach pepper. Oh, and it has some blooms on it. And then Purple Russian tomato and then Anaheim pepper and then pork chop tomato 
And look at this is the one. It has all these. Well, that's just a huge blossom. But this one was actually a fused. This one was actually two fused together. And then we have jigsaw pepper. And this one is really pretty because it has the vari variegated leaves. And it'll start off with purple blossoms and it'll have purple chilies form on. And as they ripen, they turn red. Okay, and then there's this one. This one is the mortgage lifter. And then Kajari melon. Now the Tigger melon and the Kajari melon, I'm only growing them because my daughter asked me to because she liked them, I guess. I didn't really care for them flavor-wise. Okay, here is a lemon drop watermelon. And then we have Sun Globe and there's a lot of tomatoes on there. And then a variegated Pequin, which I think is a, some kind of Thai or Asian pipe chili and then purple Ukrainian that's this one and it has tomatoes already forming and then a lemon drop and it has blooms and then Anna's nor tomato and then a fish pepper that's another variegated pepper and then wasipicon peach and then a habanero and then hillbilly and then the watermelon here is um janosic watermelon it's supposed to be okay so i was trying to plant only the smaller types of melons and watermelons and that one is not going to be a very small one it's actually going to be pretty big i may mistakenly put it in here so and then this one oh it has a tomato in there I see it on the side there and this one the tag is covered now because <laughs> it's just so overgrown let me see Okay, so this one is Oregon Spring. Okay, so this is Lola's outhouse here. And as you can see, sunflower bloom. So pretty. And then I have a lot of water glories and stuff planted in here. I have to weed everything. And I'm still not finished with decorating her space here. I still have some things I want to do, but check this out, you guys. Look at this gladiola. It hasn't fully opened yet, but the flowers are my favorite color. It holds a lot of promise to something really pretty. <laughs> and then look at these ones are like a pink, like a hot pink. So I'm excited to see that and all these morning glory blooms on here is just crazy there's a lot of them on here i haven't seen any blue yet because i planted some blue um butterfly peas on in there and i haven't seen any of that yet but i'm sure it'll pop up somewhere <laughs> and then we have potatoes and then starting here at the far left there's Minnesota midget melon and then gold metal I just noticed that this the wind topped this one it broke the branch that's unfortunate but I was trying to do two liters but I still have the other one here that looks like it's doing good so gold metal and then Hungarian hot wax which has a flower opened already on there and then a Mr. Stripey and then poblano pepper and then a orange icicle tomato and behind it is this beautiful 
carrot. Now this carrot is the same carrot that has been in here, planted in here, that grew up through the seaweed. And it went to flower, and look how pretty that flower is. So pretty. So I'm going to let that big flower stay and let it so I can keep the seeds, collect the seeds on this one. But I think I'm going to trim back all the other flower blooms so to give the pepper and that tomato some space. Because it's kind of taking up, hugging all the space around right here. And then we have daddle pepper and then an evergreen tomato and then a, a brown jalapeno so now we're getting into um i planted all the hot ones that i had and now with all my peppers i planted two of each type so we're getting into the second planting and then Hale's Best Jumbo. Only one sprouted, so I planted some more seeds in there. I'm hoping that they'll sprout. And then this one is um, Black Seaman Tomato. And then we have uh, Amish Melon. And then another Purple Russian. I thought I planted two by accident. And I went back to look, and then I saw that Ukrainian purple, and I was like, oh, I was just mistaken. But no, I really did plant two purple Russians. That's fine. Last year, I didn't get a chance to try them because that squirrel chewed up the plant real bad, or somebody chewed it up real bad, and it wasn't a hornworm that did it. <laughs> it was a furry critter that did it, so... We have black Hungarian pepper, Paul Robeson tomato, sugar rush red pepper. Oh, and I think there's a pepper forming. Uh, it might be. I see that bug on there. <laughs> and then Aunt Ruby's German green tomato. And then a Serrano pepper. And a Costaluto Genovese tomato. And then a jalapeno. And then True Black Brandywine. Something's eating on him. I'm going to have to check him out. He might have a, one of those green worms. Not a horn worm, but like a looper worm type on him somewhere eating him up. And then a Delice de la Table melon. And then we have green sausage tomato. I love these tomatoes. These tomatoes are so flavorful and good. And then we have a green flesh honeydew melon. And then a mana tomato a cayenne pepper, pink ox heart, and a Santa Fe Grand tomato, and a black creme, uh, let me go back, Santa Fe Grand pepper, and then a black creme tomato, and it has tomatoes on it. Yay! And I still have to string these up, if you notice. I strung all of those. But I have not strung these yet. So I have to get out here and do that when it gets, you know, in the cool of the morning time. Because <laughs> it's just too hot right now to do anything. And then we have a Sugar Rush Peach. He's under there. He's hiding under that tomato plant. And then a Yellow brandy wine. And then an uh, Anaheim chili, which is behind that one. And then a Kellogg breakfast, which is my favorite. And then this one is an orange flesh honeydew. It doesn't look like it's doing all that great. It's got these spots all on it. 
and it's taking forever to grow, so I don't know. I might have to pull those and plant some more seeds. And then this potato has just about had it. It's almost done. And then my bitter melon didn't grow. So I'm going to put something else there. I'm thinking I'm going to probably put spaghetti squash because at the end of this bed, I have spaghetti squash planted. I think I'm going to do spaghetti squash in place of that bitter melon. And then we have Thorburn's terracotta tomato. And then jigsaw, another jigsaw pepper. And then a white tomasol tomato. And then a variegated pequin, another one. And then a sart roloise, something like that. I'll show you the name. <laughs> and then I planted some more lemon drop peppers here. And you can see they, they sprouted. So we'll see how well they turn out. And then pink jazz tomato. And then I planted some fish pepper seed right here. And one popped out. So it sprouted. So I'm happy for that. That's all I needed was one. And then opalka. And then the spaghetti squash. And then moving on we have... This one is the Solar Flare. And then we have Lemon Cucumber Persimmon Tomato Habanero Super Beef Steak Hungarian hot wax. Now I planted seeds here. Nothing's come up yet. And then old German tomato. And then Kuya. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Pepper. And th that seed I got from the a dried a bag of dried Kuya chili seed uh, peppers that I used to make some um, chili seasoning with. And I planted the seeds and they sprouted and here we go. <laughs> and then a Hungarian heart tomato and uh, that one. Guajillo, Guajillo, something like that, pepper. That was another one that I got from the store um, in a bag of dried chili peppers that I use to make um, enchilada sauce and stuff like that with. And the, the seeds sprouted, so I was happy for that. And then we have orange accordion tomato. And then little potato cucumber. I'm excited about that. I haven't tried that cucumber yet, so... And then this is a Roma tomato. And then over here, not necessarily on tomato row. Look at all them spiders, you guys. All them spiders. I'm gonna have to knock them all down in order to get to my tomatoes. Look, tons of spiders and webs right here. It's just crazy. <laughs> but anyways, um, this one is a Jubilee tomato, and this one is a Tigerella tomato. So I have to start, like this one, it just exploded in growth, and I wanted to go up this trellis right here, so I'm going to have to start stringing them up on there. And then these peppers are doing pretty good. This one, it's a Thailand chili that someone gave me from uh, a gardening group that I'm in and uh, and then there's another paprika and then I don't even know if this one survived because he's covered um, this one is a scotch bonnet he's in there he's this little guy right here right there so I'm happy with how everything is progressing but at the same time I just know that with the hot weather that we're having and this is just june and we're having triple digits all this week um 
And then July is usually a solid month of triple digits, and August is usually a solid month of triple, di triple digits. And so I just know that my time is limited, and so I'll be able to try some of these tomatoes sooner uh, before July. I don't know, we'll see. But look at this, you guys. It's just so pretty, my tomato roll. And I cut back the oleander as well so that it wouldn't interfere with the tomatoes as they grow up the string trellis and stuff. Thank you for watching this video. And if it's your first time seeing, watching one of my videos, I'm in the high desert of Southern California in Zone 8B. And you guys, this is dry heat. It's usually windy like this all the time. Uh, and it's dry heat, not no humidity at all. <laughs> I'm like in my garden this year. It's very, very nice and pretty. So. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And as always, God bless.